There is a star out there that is 25 times more massive than the sun that suddenly disappeared from the sky without a trace in 2009, and astronomers have been puzzled ever since. N6946 BH1 was a red supergiant star located in a spiral galaxy about 22 million light years away from Earth. It was one of the most massive stars known in the universe, and it was expected to explode in a spectacular supernova at the end of its life, leaving behind a neutron star or a black hole. But instead of going out with a bang, it just faded away and vanished. No explosion, no debris, no remnant, just nothing. It was like the star had simply ceased to exist. What could have caused this mysterious event? How can a star just disappear like that? And what does this mean for our understanding of how massive stars die and how black holes form? In this video, we will explore the mystery of N6946BH1's disappearance and how the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed some surprising clues about what really happened to the star. We will look at two possible scenarios that could explain N6946BH1's fate, a failed supernova and a binary merger. We will also discuss how these findings challenge our knowledge of stellar evolution and black hole formation. So stay tuned, because this is a story that will blow your mind. So let's start with the first scenario that N6946BH1 was a failed supernova. A failed supernova is a rare event where a massive star collapses into a black hole without producing a bright explosion. This could happen if the star's core is too massive or too hot to ignite the nuclear fusion that powers the supernova. In this case, the star's outer layers would fall into the black hole, leaving no visible trace of the star. This hypothesis was proposed by a team of astronomers who observed this exact star fading away between 2007 and 2009 using the Hubble Space Telescope and the Large Binocular Telescope. They could not detect any sign of the star in optical or near-infrared wavelengths after 2009. They also found no evidence of any shockwave or ejected material that would indicate a supernova. They concluded that this star had likely collapsed into a black hole without exploding. So this was a very intriguing discovery because failed supernovae are very hard to confirm. They are extremely rare and faint, and only a handful of candidates have been identified so far. None of them have been conclusively proven. Moreover, it is possible that some failed supernovae could still produce some faint emission at other wavelengths, such as radio or X-rays, that could be missed by optical telescopes. So how can we be sure that N6946BH1 was indeed a failed supernova? Is there any way to detect the black hole that it supposedly left behind? And if so, what would it look like? To answer these questions, we need to use a different kind of telescope one that can see in the mid-infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is where James Webb Space Telescope comes in. James Webb is ideal for studying this star because it can probe deeper into its surroundings and reveal any hidden emission from the star or its remnant. This year, astronomers used Webb to observe N 6,946 BH1 for the first time since its disappearance. To their surprise, they found a bright infrared source at the location of the star, which was not seen by previous telescopes. They also discovered that there were actually three sources instead of one, two fainter sources on either side of the bright one. What could these sources be? And what do they tell us about this star's fate? The bright infrared source could be either a remnant dust shell that was heated by the star's collapse or material falling into the black hole and forming an accretion disk. The dust shell scenario would imply that this star did explode in a very faint supernova that was obscured by dust. The accretion disk scenario would imply that this star did collapse into a black hole without exploding, but that it still emits some radiation from its surroundings. Both scenarios are consistent with the failed supernova hypothesis, but they have different implications for the properties and the evolution of the black hole. For example, the dust shell scenario would suggest that the black hole is relatively small and isolated, 
while the accretion disk scenario would suggest that the black hole is relatively large and active. But there is another possibility that could explain the bright infrared source, a binary merger. A binary merger is an event where two stars orbiting each other merge into one. This could happen if the stars are very close to each other and lose energy due to gravitational waves or tidal forces. A binary merger could produce a powerful burst of energy and a change in the appearance of the system. This hypothesis was proposed by another team of astronomers who analyzed the James Webb data and noticed some peculiar features. They found that the bright infrared source was variable, meaning that it changed its brightness over time. They also found that the three sources were aligned along a line, suggesting that they were part of a single system. They proposed that N6946BH1 was part of a binary system that merged before disappearing. The two fainter sources could be the remnants of the companion star or its orbiting material. The bright infrared source could be the merged star or its remnant, which could be either a neutron star or a black hole. This scenario would imply that N6946BH1 did not collapse into a black hole without exploding, but rather underwent a violent merger that altered its structure and emission. This would make the failed supernova model less likely and open up new possibilities for the formation and evolution of massive stars and black holes. But how can we test this hypothesis? And how common are binary mergers among massive stars? To answer these questions, we need to use more data and more models. We need to compare the observations from JWST with those from other telescopes that can measure different wavelengths and different properties of the system. We also need to simulate the dynamics and evolution of binary systems, especially when they involve massive stars and black holes. This is not an easy task because binary mergers are also very rare and complex. Only a few candidates have been identified so far and none of them have been conclusively proven. Moreover, it is difficult to model the physics and chemistry of binary systems, especially when they involve extreme conditions and exotic phenomena. But it is not impossible, and it is definitely worth trying. These kinds of findings challenge our current theories of how massive stars end their lives and how stellar mass black holes form. They also demonstrate the power and potential of James Webb for studying these phenomena in unprecedented detail and clarity. What other mysteries await us in the cosmic graveyard of massive stars? How can we test and refine our models of failed supernovae and binary mergers? How can we use James Webb to uncover more secrets about the universe? These are some of the questions that we hope to answer in future videos. So make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. And until next time, Keep looking up.